I am starting a new course on Node.js Express and MongoDB. So in this course, we will diving deep into the world of Express, Node.js and MongoDB. So what we will learn? We will learn how to build powerful REST APIs, handle data with MongoDB and secure your application with authentication and authorization. But that's not all. What I'm also planning to do is to integrate Redis into the system. So by integrating Redis, what we will achieve? We will achieve performance optimization for our response. So here I will uh, show you how we can write small helper function that we can easily add into the controllers. And if you don't understand controllers, of course, we will learn it in, in the video. Also, one more important thing is logging. When we are doing local development, we can always add console.log and we can see what is happening but we don't have that privilege when the code is deployed in production for that what we will do we will build a robust logging framework so what that logging framework will do this will help us in see what is happening in the code where things are breaking and it will help us in debugging right so we will build that log framework and for that we are going to use rabbitmq right so this will be interesting part right so i hope you are excited about this course as much as i am into recording this course so i hope you will enjoy this one to start this project what we will do we will select a folder in our system right once that folder is selected what we will do we will open that particular folder in vs code that same thing i have done here uh, my VS code is open and here I have opened uh, the folder in this path and I have opened terminal in the VS code right so if you go here you will find the terminal option now this is just a folder in VS code now what we have to do is we have to convert this folder into a npm project in order to do that what we will do we will say npm init what this command will do this command will create this folder as a npm project once i run this one it will ask me a bunch of questions we will start answering that and we will have our project setup ready so what is the first question that it is asking it is asking what will be the package name and it is suggesting express rest api so if i am happy with this i'll click enter then what is the version 1.0.0 that is fine description if you want you can write some description like how i have added here then entry point will keep it as index.js then test command i'll not add any test command then git repository for now i'm not initializing any git repository then keywords i'll keep it empty author if you want you can add your own name right license that is fine right then it is asking is this okay yes is the default selected so if you click enter your project will be set up this is a basically a npm project so if you notice here it has created a package.json so i'll close this one and we'll open this package.json so if you see here version is 1.0.0 this is the description that we added previously right this is the entry point then this is a dummy script this we will change very soon then this is the author and this is the license that these are the information that we added just now now what are we going to work with of course we are going to work with express so the first task is to install express in our project right so in order to do that what we have to do i'll go to terminal new terminal and i will install an npm package so what i will say npm install express so what this will do this will install the express library in our project right so what i'll do i'll click enter so if you see here here a dependency object is created and inside that we have express and what version of express is installed and if you see node modules folder is created so here all the installed dependency are stored now we will start adding some code into our project so for that what i will do i'll create a folder called src that means all my source code will sit inside this src folder then i'll create index.js file right then what i will do for now i'm adding just a console.log hello from express api right now how to run this one so i'll just take little space for the terminal i'll clean this one control l then what i will say if i have to run this one i'll say node then what is the file path 
src slash index.js so what i did i used the autocomplete feature i typed src then i said slash and then i and d and pressed tab so it auto completed right now when i run this one you will see this line hello from express api right this is coming from here now i am running this with the node command what i want to do is to add a script which will run this command on my behalf right so i can do this but when i deploy this in production i won't have the privilege to use this command like this so for that what i will do i will come to script and then i will add a start script and here what i will do same thing node then src index.js now i will clean this one and now instead of running node and index.js what i can do npm run start now if i do this the npm will run the node and src index.js and it will display me the same output now now i'll come here say i want to update something here i want to say hello from rest x rest express api now if i have to run this one what i will do i will again i'll have to again run this command it will give me the updated code right now when you are doing proper code development you have to keep on updating the code so at that time it is very difficult to keep on running this command again and again to see what output you are getting right so for that to solve this problem we have a package called as nodemon right so i will come here this is the other terminal instance where we did the package creation i will come here i will say npm install and i will say dash d i will tell you what is the dash d means then i will say nodemon right okay now if you see here okay let me run this one first so if you see here we have a dev dependency now what is the meaning of dev dependency and how it is different from this regular dependency so dev dependency is something that we need only during the code development this is not something that we are going to need in production right and this dependency is something that we are going to need in production so if you see here nodemon we want this to update our code when we write the latest code in the terminal right which is not something we do in production so this is categorized as a dev dependency and i have kept it in this dev dependency section right <coughs> now how i'll run this nodemon like how i have added a start script here what i can do i will add a dev script that means i'll run this script when i'm doing the development work then i will say nodemon src then index.js simple now i will come here and here what i will do then i will come to this other terminal instance right and i will clear this one and instead of saying npm run start i'll say npm run dev so what will happen now if you see nodemon has taken over and it will print this line but the advantage that i am getting is if i update my code and save it it will automatically rerun my new code right if you see this is the new section that has come up right so here what i can do i can do a small thing i'll say right click i'll say rename right and this i will say npm dev right and what i can do i can if i want i can change the color so that i can identify what terminal is used for what purpose right so i will add a different color and what else i can do i can do change icon right so uh, let me select some icon right now this order of business is done now what we will do we will start writing our express code now what i will do i will bring express into my project for that what i have to do i will say const express equals to require express this is one way of doing it right now what i want to do is i don't want to use this require syntax i want to use the import syntax now what does that mean that means i should be able to import express from express 
right this is much cleaner much easier and this is widely used be in react or be it in typescript right so i want to keep this consistent with my express javascript project now if you see it says it cannot import statement outside a module right now why we are getting this error so natively this node.js engine doesn't understand this import statement right so for that what i have to do i will come to package.json and here i will add a property called type and if you see i'm getting two options common js and module so i will say module right now if you see this has started again without crashing right here if you see it crashed so by adding this line this import statement started working right now this being done what i will do i'll create the express app so this is just the express that i have imported from this import imported express what i will do i'll create an app which is nothing but just to call this as a function so this is a instance of the express app now using this app what i can do app dot listen that means i am listening this app on a particular port for now let us say 8000 and what i will do i will add a callback function what this callback function will do once the app started listening on this port we will get a message that okay now server has started right i will add a callback function that will tell me so that server has started listening so i will say console.log right and server started on port 8000 right and as soon as i save this one i'll get this message server started on port 8000 now there is one problem here if you see this port number is hard coded into the code right this is not what something we want we should be able to dynamically change the port from configuration and what is the best way to use this environment variables right now in order to use the environment variable what we have to do we have to add one more package right that package is called as dot env now if you think logically where should this dot env package be installed should it be part of dev dependency or your normal prod dependency this should be part of only dev dependency right so because anyways i don't want this in production right so for this what i will say npm install dash d dot env i'll install this package so if you see here in this dev dependency and dot env is now available and here what i can do i can change the icon to something different if i want i can change the color and what i want to do most importantly i want to rename i will say npm install that means if i have to install something i'll come to this terminal <laughs> now how to set up this dot env for that we have to add a file in the project root right and i will call it dot env as the name suggests and here what i want to add i want to add a property called port and assign it a value 8000 and i will save this one now coming to this index file i have to do two things first i have to import dot env from dot env this is first part then what i have to do i have to do the config that means dot env dot config so all i have to do is just call the config function now this being done how i can read this environment variable i have to say i'll say const port equals to process dot env dot port or if i am not able to find this port or this variable for whatever reason i'll default to 8000 <coughs> right now instead of this hard coded variable what i can say port i'll use this port and i will say dollar and port so what this will do this will take this environment variable and store it in this port variable and then this port will be used to listen as well as to do the console display so now if i come here it is still running server started on port 8000 now instead of doing hard coding i am reading the port value from the environment variable now we have a running api but we don't have an endpoint to see what this api is actually doing right so for that what we will do we will create a standard ping api right that means if someone is accessing your api and if it wants to know if your api or if your server is available what this will do this will ping to your api or it will hit a ping endpoint and in return it will get a message pong right this is a kind of simple convenience that is followed across uh, the api pattern api design right so what i will say i'll say app dot get so that means this is a get call right get on which path 
I will say slash ping. And what will happen when somebody is coming to this path? This function will be executed. Now, what is this function? This is a callback function which takes a request and a response. And what this will do? On this response, it will attach a status of OK. That means 200. And it will attach a JSON body. And it will pass a message which says pom. Right? So, now we have a API and we have a endpoint. Now what I will do? I will go to Postman, right? Here I have already created a collection. Collection is nothing but for one particular project, you can store a bunch of APIs that you can categorize into folders, right? So we will check these things later. Now here I have a ping API, ping request, right? Now if you see here, I am going to the ping path, but if you see there is a double curly braces and url what is the meaning of this one this is the environment variable for the postman right so if you see here it says no environment so if you come and check here there is an environment called as local api development right so this is the environment that i am selecting now in order to see what is there in this environment i will click this one here if you see there is a url property right and what is the value of this url this is pointing to localhost 8080 so i will change this to 8000 right because this is the port that i am using right now okay so i will save this one then i will come here and this is a get call and here i am doing the ping right and i will uh, take some space here and what i will do i will change this orientation from horizontal to vertical right like this now this is just my convenience okay if you want you can do this so now what i will do i will send the request right so if you see here i got the message pong right where from where this is coming this is coming from here right so what we have done we have set up express we are listening to a particular port and we have created our first api route and this api route is nothing which is sending us a particular message that we can see here right so the basic api setup is done